Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I'm going to try to do something that is really hard. I'm trying to compare Notion to any type and it is hard because of two reasons. The first one is that the applications are a little different, but secondly, um, and probably more importantly, is that uh, my setup is different uh, within the two applications. I have used both extensively, but currently, um, my notion is just this project page, uh, which I've used for some videos and some showing off stuff. While my any type is actually uh, really extensive, uh, you can see the graph here. Uh, there is a bunch of stuff in my any type, but let's actually start off with Notion, and I will try to like explain the most important things or differences as I go. So. The first and probably most important is around privacy. Um, any type is local first, which means that none of your stuff actually live mainly on the cloud. They live on your device inside of like your folders in your uh, computer. So you can find your actual markdown folders. That is probably the most important uh, thing. Uh, and there is also like an encryption key with uh, any type. So everything inside of any type is actually end to end encrypted, not with Notion. Uh, so basically, what that means is that no one else actually has access to your any type uh, stuff. Uh, it's only you. You can, of course, share things and things like that. But in Notion, like theoretically, and I mean that like theoretically, it. Uh, people working in Notion could access your stuff. Never been an issue for me, but I know that a lot of people think privacy is important. The um, local first stuff and being able to export all of my stuff in uh, Markdown is it is really important to me. So being able to just move everything from any type into a different application, that is really important. Uh, the other thing uh, is... Uh, the way Notion works is that you have these pages. So I can create a page. Let's just do a test page. Uh, and a lot of this is really similar. I can do like backslash. I can do uh, to do's. I can do a uh, table. I can do link to pages, dividers, things like that. N Notion also has a lot of AI stuff that any type does not have. Any type has MCP servers. So you can actually connect it to. AI, uh, so it does MCP and it also, I think they've opened up their API by now. If they haven't, they will. So there are a lot of integrations, but Notion, of course, being Notion, has a lot more integrations and a lot more views in their databases because both of these applications, they revolve around databases. So I have a um, table view right here. And I have so many different ways of seeing this. Let me just go back here. So map, feed, chart, gallery, list, calendar, board, timeline. So a bunch of different stuff. Uh, a bunch of different stuff here. Uh, and also uh, Notion is, I would say, simpler to get into. Even though Notion is quite complex. Because Notion isn't an object-based application. I know that a lot of people like object-based. I have mixed feelings about it. Uh, I will get more into what that is uh, a little uh, later on. There is also many more videos uh, about uh, Notion. So if you want to learn Notion and you just want to watch YouTube videos, you can do that. Notion is also probably more stable. It is better for Teams currently. It is basically the better application uh, unless the privacy part is really important to you, which again, I know it is for a lot of people. Um, the AI stuff like Notion has its own AI and it can connect into different applications as well. Uh, Notion also has the mail and the calendar, but it can get into your Slack, your Gmail, your Drive, Teams, Outlook, SharePoint, GitHub. Um, is that Jira? I think that's Jira and also Linear. Um, so that is like basically Notion. There is also this marketplace with a lot of templates. And when I say a lot of templates, I mean like every template you can dream of. Some of them cost money, but 
Uh, many of them are also, as you can see, free, and there are so many of them. Um, and um, they, as I said, both revolve around databases with different properties. You can see all of the different property types here. Uh, some of these property types are a part of the uh, paid or business plans or team plans uh, because Notion in my eyes is often more of a project management tool that people use as their productivity tool. And you also get like suggested uh, ones here uh, and you have all of your different tile types sorry uh, i think that like covers most of the stuff i won't go too deep into how every application works and how you can like set up linked databases because that is something you can do in both of the applications i wanted to mainly like cover the differences and the differences is this notion ai it is the meeting stuff it is a more stable application a web version and also not the same privacy stuff um and notion isn't an object-based note-taking app there is also an inbox here as well again team stuff notion has heavily moved towards teams but it is still an amazing application for uh for even like students or people who just want to get into pkm and want an all-in-one application but i personally really like anytype anytype has this graph view uh, and it has backlinking. Notion has links to pages, but I view backlinking as something uh, different. But Notion also has some sort of backlinking, which is just linked pages or uh, yeah. uh, linked pages is what I'm going to call them. Um, but uh, in any type, you have these like links or relations they call them properties now but uh, this shows how something is related to another thing so my traveler's journal notebook right here which is a social media post is related to this plan out traveler's notebook video so you have relations and you have graph view and the backlinking they go in uh, there uh, i would say that any type has backlinking in the more traditional like pkm way um, any type is also a object-based note-taking app what that basically means i need to update my any type but what that basically means is that um you have uh objects so everything is an object so personal social media let's just jump into here and social media ideas this is based on the type social media uh the type social media and uh it is really hard to describe object-based note-taking apps, but basically things like templates, for example, they revolve around these objects. You can see mine on the side here. These are the object types. I have tasks, notes, collections, bookmarks, tweets, social media, scripts, and talks. Uh, and you can see how these databases work in, um, in uh, any type. You have two types of databases. You have this, which is called a search query, and you have your collections, which are more traditional databases. Search queries are basically a search for a specific object type. In this case, it is social media. So it searches throughout my workspace for uh, everything uh, which has the type social media. Uh, that is basically how this works. I can also create filters in these just like in Notion. And there are also different views here. So you have fewer views. You have grid, gallery, list, Kanban, and calendar, uh, as well as the graph. And I really like the graph one. Um, and I will show, uh, show it to you if I just go back to my home page. And I think I have it in my resources, if I can find my resources. Actually, let's jump into the test space. Um, and let's do last. Yeah, this is okay. Uh, I haven't actually used my test space since the last update. But in here, I actually have my resources if I am able to find them. So it took me a second, but here you have like my resources. And what I really like about this is that let's say I have two books here. I have one called a random book and one called marketing camp 101. 
I have this graph view where I can actually connect things just within this database. So instead of connecting things between uh, everything inside of my workspace and having it clutter up my like graph view, which often gets cluttered up if you use it for everything, I can actually have a graph um, within uh, one of my databases, which is great for note taking and things like uh, Zettel Carsten uh, note taking method. Uh, so I think like that covers the main differences here. You also have the chat ability inside of uh, any type where you can create chats and things like that. Both of them have sharing and collaboration. Any type is at a much earlier stage. It is object based, it is privacy focused. While Notion has uh, gone more towards like team stuff, it has more database views, more general features, a little easier to get into a bigger community, things like that. Um, so I would say the main difference is the object-based stuff, uh, the privacy stuff, and also the stability of the two applications. Of course, there are other things I could get into, but I wanted to do like a quick overview of the differences between the two applications. Uh, I like AnyType a lot because of the like local first infrastructure of the application and that I get to own my own files and use my own files. Both of them have paid plans. I will link uh, both of the applications down below so you can jump into and check out those pay paid plans, but both of them also have really extensive free plans. Uh, I think that covers all of it. If you have any questions, anything you would want me to go deeper into in another video or maybe a post uh, somewhere, uh, maybe even a short uh, video, please do comment it down below. I'm always happy to help and try to make uh, videos to explain things better. But I think that covers it for today's video.